And next on the agenda is the series of incidents involving unusual behavior in public. Hmm. First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. As you're all aware, he had some sort of episode during a diet session Q&A and abruptly confessed to document tampering. Hmm. Soon after that, three Sapporo Central Councilmen confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his book's awards, 
and deeming his body of work garbage. Then, a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her, and got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, <laughs> no. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts. But, time and again, Every instance involves a sudden change in personality. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. Aren't these just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. I want silence! Proceed with the report. Thank you, Commissioner Kaburagi. As you've realized, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thieves. What? Hmm. What evidence is there? No one's even established a pattern. And we don't have any sort of motive. So far, doing it for kicks is the only thing that'd explain it. You will investigate each of these incidents yourselves as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One, to assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher-ups are hell-bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. <sighs> mm. So... The Phantom Thieves rise again. It's been a while since we rode this to Yonginjaya, huh? Almost there. We haven't seen everyone in so long. I know it's stupid, but I'm getting kind of nervous. Yeah, when the Phantom Thieves come together, it's never anything less.
Surprise! We get you or what? <laughs> <laughs> we missed you. It's been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. Mm. Meow. It's gotten hot. Oh, you care for some nice coffee? Hey, you guys hungry? Oh, Mona's practically purring. <laughs> Surprise. You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greeting. <laughs> we hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. We figured the best way to get you was to have Voss let us in early. Well, you're looking sharp. I hear you. Even though it's only been a couple of months, it feels like it's been a real long while. Yeah. I'm sure you all have plenty of catching up to do. But I've got to open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. Have a good time. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. Deal. Now, thieves, to the hideout. Great. Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. <laughs> Seriously, no. It's not a joke. He never fails to <laughs> You really never change. You won three of my finals in one day, too. I'm really freaking out. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I win. I only flunked one final. You two are the same as always. Can't you at least take your classes a bit more seriously? Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Jeez. Will you please forget about that already? So is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Oh, -ho! yielded any results yet? Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program, though? Yes, but students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Gah, that'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. And you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Too easy. At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and P.E. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Praise me more. Keep it coming. Well, how about you then? You're the one we're most curious about. You doing okay back home? Well, that's a relief. Even though you seem like you'd be fine no matter where you ended up. Well, I've been getting by too, but... Without you around, it's sort of like stuff is just kind of bleh. Of course, he's our leader. It's only natural. That's right. <laughs> Once a phantom thief, always a phantom thief. Huh? Well, I'd say we start coming up with summer vacation plans. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, right. We should figure that stuff out. You're fine to stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage. Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Blah. <laughs> not only do you have homework, but you're third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. Yeah, no, stop. Don't bring that up. Not now, please. <laughs> Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple and shrine. Oh, the sheer wealth of beauty I can witness in a whole month. I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. A trip does 
does sound nice, but what if we all went camping first? We can all go hiking and stuff during the day and even throw together a barbecue at night. The barbecue Aren't those always the big gatherings for people who socialize IRL? <laughs> Sounds fun. You can leave the firewood chopping to me. Kicking summer off right with a barbecue buffet. Sounds badass to me. <laughs> How about you? Look for decent marbling in the cuts. That's how you get the real good stuff. Trust me on this. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea. But we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. Choosing food over art? You sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right. Our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. We're going camping. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have compiled a list of items recommended for camping. There was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Customer reviews rate this as the best relevant store in your area. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Oh, yeah. It's got this uh, eye that thinks for it, right? I think you mean AI, not an eye. Right. It stands for artificial intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. Shut up! That sounds kind of cool, though. Where all the best ramen shops are. Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. I suppose it'd at least be handy if we ran into any trouble while camping. That's a good idea. Why don't you get it too? Hello, this is Emma. I am pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name. Thank you. Again, I am Emma, your helpful virtual assistant. Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them off. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale either. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy! Ugh, AI, not an eye. Well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet this guy's beat from the traveling, too. We just went through all the effort to meet up at the hideout, yeah? So let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over. Particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. Yeah, anything but that.
Thank you for treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. Plus, with this guy hanging around again, it'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back soon. Well, see you tomorrow. You know, it was nice talking after so long. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. See you then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either, okay? Memories. It's nice to see everyone doing so well. Chief seemed to be the same as ever, too. This place is just as great as I remembered. So, we're camping in a couple days, huh? Talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation. <laughs> Me too. Well, we should get some sleep. <sighs> Good night. to rejoice or bemoan this reunion. Regardless, I must perform my duty. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for your summons. I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. Someone, even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Rise against it. My name is Lavenza. As one who rules over power, my duty is to witness the path you take. Should the world continue down its own current path, all that awaits you is destruction. Have you the resolve to defy such a fate? and face the distortion that yet again threatens your world. 
than before. However, you must never forget, I am always by your side. The time has come. Let us meet again soon. Until then, pleasant dreams. I'll just add this. Buy some camp and shit? Uh, let's hustle to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello. Do you need something? Yeah, uh, show us that store you told us about. Displaying the optimal route to your destination. Whoa, look at this sweet map. We can even figure out how to help with a vague question like that? Oh, this thing's a whole lot more useful than I thought. Great! Let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. <laughs> What's all the racket? I have a suggested event for you. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? That was a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Alice Hiragi is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Oh, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you, huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, 
someone sounds interested. It's on our way into the store. Why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it. Hey, hey, what's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that... Alice! Alice Hiraki! Hi, folks! Thanks for coming! A shop that carries one of my very own brands is opening here, today! Have you ever dreamed that you could be somebody else, even if just for a little while? Well, I know a place where that dream comes to life. A wonderland where you become whatever you want to be. Now, I've got one question. Does anyone want to visit this wonderland with me? Aw, thanks! Then I have a surprise for you. I'm giving away 100 invitation cards as a special present. They're magical cards that will make you have an even better time in Wonderland. Enjoy! Here you go! Oh, oh my god, thank you so much! Oh, and one for you! Holy crap! Alice just touched my hand! Oh! <laughs> Those are some quality specs! <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. I hope you like the star! What was with that crowd? Man, I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Right? Oh, she just has this vibe. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady On alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine, fine. Oh, yeah, you got one of those cards from Alice, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown off. Can it? There were just a ton of people around us all. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! So, you input the keyword, then you become friends with Alice? You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Feels like... Whoa! What happened to you guys? Not just me. You changed, too. Whoa! For real? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. This is a joke, right? Oh. Whoa, check it Look. out. Uh -huh. Aren't those the guys we saw at 705? Hey, everyone! You love me, don't you? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. Whoa! What the hell was that? 
trapped. There's no time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out. Damn it! Uh, fine, let's do this. We'll take all of you on. Stay sharp, you two. We haven't fought in some time. Just warm up a bit for starters. It'll come back to you soon enough.
Okay, what in the hell is this place? <sighs> I think this could be Alice's palace. A palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on. But I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. This really is a palace? The distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. <sighs> Guess we're doing this. seize their desires. We have instead brought them to you. <laughs> Couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. <sighs> you look pretty cool. So, what's your name? Joker, huh? Come now, Joker. You need to answer properly when your queen asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Ugh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment, too? What? Shit! Just try it! Ugh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of them, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye-bye! Luckily. Man, that was some real shit. Even worse was that effing... So that's what she's really like, huh? <sighs> How about you, Joker? She really whacked you good. You said it. Damn that Alice. Acting like she's top shit. I'm gonna be so pissed off until we finally get back at her. So, where are we now? Looks like we wound up underground. I'd say it's some sort of garbage dump. For now, let's just focus on getting out of here. This place is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Let's find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on. Huh? 
What is this place? Who are you? You are... a phantom thief? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you as well. Are you human? Do you have a name? Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker, do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean, who are you? What is it, Joker? down here by that Alice girl too? Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories. So I do not know. Wait, what? Hey, you two. Come here for a second. Who is that Joker? She said she doesn't have any memories? She came out of a giant box? What crazy shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow, though. She doesn't even seem hostile. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you... If you're in trouble, I can help. I am humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So, you wanna help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh, we're lost. I guess we're looking for a way out of here? A way? Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would? Okay, I've got it. I'm searching for a way out of here. Whoa, hey! Don't go out there alone! <sighs> what now, Joker? Right. She might be able to get us out of this dump. You sure about that? She's still super suspicious. But I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows! 
Oh, crap, too late. Get behind us, Sophia. Where the hell they come from? Nobody's coming for us if we don't get here. Let's get it. Yeah! This is it. We got through that somehow. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? Assaulting others without reason is not proper behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called Shadows. And we're the Phantom Thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. Intruders they want to eliminate. The Phantom Thieves? That's really cool. That's what you have to say? Oh, man, I guess. Anyway, there is a shit ton of shadows around here. If you want to help us, then let's all go together. I can find a way out of here. You only need to wait for me. You're actually going to help us out? I have been helping you this entire time. Joker helped me first. Now I will be helpful for him. Use me as needed, Joker. <laughs> all right, you're weird, but... I guess you really do want to help. It's your call, Joker. Okay, that sounds nice, Joker. Along with the hat and the skeleton. What? I'm not a skeleton. <laughs> Skull short for Skullington now. No, wait, just because I look like this doesn't make me a cat. Joker! I'm Skull. Don't screw it up. And I'm Mona, okay? Don't you forget it. What has upset you? All right. Let's be careful. We Sophia with us. We should just avoid it if we can. Are you saying that's in your way? Yeah, we can't escape unless we get past here. Okay, I've got it. Huh? Got what? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, wait up! <laughs> Transformations. 
I copied what you do and ended up like this. Right? It's not just the clothes. Uh, are you some kind of persona user? Persona? The things you were using during the fight. Those boxes flying around. That was a weapon. I needed it to fight. Sophia, just what in the world are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Yeah, we already heard that one. Hmm. There's still just too much we don't know. But we don't have the time to figure it out now either. Getting out of here needs to be our number one priority. Yeah, we really don't need her getting any more attention from the enemy. Hey, let's just have her help us out. Considering what we just saw, I don't think we'll have a problem. Agreed. We have no idea what's ahead of us. The more firepower, the better. Can you lend us a hand, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. Right, you'll be counting on me. Well, let's move. Lead the way, Shorty. Understood. Oh, right. Keep track of how you're holding up. You need any healing items? Yo! Anything suspicious. You never know what you might find. Remember? Take 
this. Wipe them out for you? Here's a tip on us phantom thieves. We avoid charging headfirst into battle whenever possible. Let's try those stairs for now. See that hanging there, Joker? You thinking what I'm thinking? Huh? <laughs> 
a new move! How are you holding up? Make sure you heal yourself when you need it. Persona! Jekyll and Pixie! Jekyll Lantern! Arsene! Jekyll Lantern! Persona! Finally made it out. This is still the metaverse, though. Stay on guard. Please wait. What is it, Sophia? Find something? <sighs> I have found it. A way out of here is nearby. For real? Wait, how'd you figure that out? I suddenly knew it. Like... Seriously? The exit is close. Follow me. Wait, wait! Sophia! What is her deal? Uh, I don't know, but we need to move it. You mentioned Sophia? Yes, this is what I had detected previously. Uh, and it is? It's fine. It leads outside. Leads outside? Everything will get all <laughs> for a moment, but then you'll be out of here. What the hell kind of explanation is that? You know, we'll be okay. Trust me, Joker. I'm glad you're willing to trust me. Hmm. Looks like we've only got one option here. Huh? Ain't you coming too? I am... What should I do? Joker's got the right idea, Sophia. This place is crawling with shadows. Staying here would only end badly for you. But... Jeez, what's it gonna take? What? What are you doing? We don't leave folks behind to die. Just get in the damn portal with us. So you want me to come with you? Okay. Well, here goes. One, two. Uh, this is the real world. Right? Yep. Looks like we're back, all right. You have successfully returned from the jail. Welcome back. Jail? Hang on. Sophia! Where'd she go? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty! Get your ass over here! Kill that in public, idiot! Need something? Was that Sophia's voice? Huh, where is she? I'm in front of you, inside Joker's phone. What's with the floating head? Yo! Whoa, she just popped up! Did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep, I'm really me. 
But who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You're Mona? So you really weren't a raccoon. I already told you that. Wait, why are you on his phone now? Why am I? Because I am an AI. An AI? A, uh, uh, that's that smart thing, right? Futaba told us all about it. She's an artificial intelligence. For real? You never asked me. I was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's scent, I ended up here. His scent? Who are you, Morgana? So since she's an AI, she turned into data when she came to this world. Does that mean you're living in his phone? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Care to join me? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the energy. Anyway, it's a big relief knowing you made it out of there safely. Hey, but what, what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still, you know... I don't know. But I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. Me too, but if we charge in without a plan, we're just going to wind up captured too. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. Odds are that something horrible is happening right now. You're right. Talking about this here is no good. Let's get to LeBlanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I connected to the internet and learned a great many things. But my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? That sounds good. Also, introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. I uh, wonder how that's gonna go over. Especially when they hear all the palace type shit. There are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. One of them will probably flip her wig over you too. Okay. That sounds pretty fun. I see. You're saying you entered the Metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. When you put it that way, you make it sound crazy. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. See? Even he says so. We understand. None of us would make up something like this. However, there's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. Could you come join us, Sophia? Yo, Phantom Thieves! <gasps> Whoa, what? Is that? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow, I can't believe this is happening. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of phantom thieves present. <laughs> She's humming to herself? What in heaven? Such an adorable design. I can feel the charm. The pain, the tenacity within. Wait, what? So, yeah, this is Sophia. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just way too advanced. Right? We couldn't believe it either. Uh, that's right, we're meeting for the first time. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Makoto Nijima. My name's Haru Okumura. We're both college students, but I also help out with my family's company. I'm 
on Takamaki. I'm a third year in high school, and I do some modeling too. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm next, huh? I'm from Tabasakura, and I kinda suck at socializing, but I wanna be friends and stuff. Ah, you did great, Futaba. In fact, I bet you and Sophia will get along real awesome. Makoto, Haru, An, Yusuke, and Futaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. Ooh, right. We skipped that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but... We call each other by code names in the metaverse, so our enemies won't discover our real identities. Code names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto. The cat's Morgana, and he's... Okay, I'll remember that. Um, so you really are a computer program? Correct. Would you like to see my source code? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Show me, show me! Take it down a notch, okay? You can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know, because my memory is gone. Could you have the AI version of amnesia or something? That seems difficult to recover from. Uh, if your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I remember nothing else. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I've still got a shit ton of questions about Sophia, but we have some real work to do first. Right. The metaverse. And what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yeah. She was calling herself the Queen, being all high and mighty, ordering shadows around. All that kind of shit. There's no doubt that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. What is it? Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? You mean they had access to the Metaverse Navigator? But that disappeared for all of us. I know, right? That's where this comes in. You mean Emma? Yep. For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait! That means Emma is dangerous! But you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work like that. There's one more thing that's been bothering me. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So... Could you guys check out the palace, or jail, or whatever with us? Good point. There's no progressing any further unless we see it with our own eyes. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think the sooner the better. Is it even safe for us to enter, though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well... Are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Right, we've got our mission. Very well. I look forward to seeing this jail. Let's say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first... I get to see Sophia's code! You promised, remember? Oh, this is gonna be the info dump of a lifetime! I promise, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Are you confident this is wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. Ah, man. This is what happens when we get back together? Oh, talk about an ass-busting summer vacation. <sighs> huh? What is it? What about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Our barbecue extravaganza? Extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? It looks like we'll just have to postpone it. Damned metaverse. I 
about to slice you to ribbons. Aha. You can't slice the metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows. Let's see. 